Welcome to the Stanford School of Education Center for Educational Research. Today we're talking with Margaret Krebs, Jennifer Wolf, and Charla Rowland about how they use the Instructional Media Center. When I first taught in the Philadelphia public school system, it was an amazing resource that we had available. Every night from 3 o'clock to 8 o'clock, you could, give a, you could call up and ask for a bus to take you um, on a field trip. You could get help designing the field trip. You could ask for a resource um, to be sent to you. And um, I didn't realize as a first-year teacher that this was a very, very unusual service. Of course it went away because it was grant money and uh, those things disappeared. But now we have this same, same, same kind of resource available to us through the Instructional Media Center. One of the uh, features of the Stanford Teacher Education Program that I think we're most proud of is our real focus on the subject matter that candidates come in studying and preparing to teach. Whereas many teacher preparation programs might have all of their candidates share one general teaching methods course, our methods courses are broken down by subject matter. Uh, my projects are, are basically fall into three areas. Areas. One is to support our alums, our School of Education alums from Stanford, to um, support them in the field. The other area is the redesign of schools, and we're really excited about that. We've got a large grant from the Gates Foundation to support the design of small schools within California. So that both is the starting of small schools as well as the breaking down of really large schools into smaller learning communities. And, and that's a really big part of my work. And the third part of my work is performance, um, the Performance Assessment Collaborative, which is really looking at alternative ways of assessing students' learning um, different from and separate from the high-stakes testing that we do here in California. What we're doing here at uh, the Stanford Teacher Education Program is using the resources from the Instructional Media Center. And as the students are building their two-week curriculum unit, they use the primary source materials or the visualizations or the simulations that they can find on this pre-selected group of, of resources. As a way to support that, we also are proud in um, STEP to have a curriculum library. And while it's small, we're able to organize our volumes by subject matter so that when students come in interested in teaching English, they can go to the English shelves and find their further resources to help them design their lessons and units. Same with math and science and foreign language and social studies. And I think that um, one of the real advantages to the Instructional Media Center is that it takes this idea so much further that allows secondary teacher candidates to pursue the development of becoming a teacher through their subject matter, through the lens of their subject matter and through the comforting organization of their subject matter to research issues of importance to them, uh, to allow them to function independently as professionals, but also within the overall organization of teaching to create lessons that are powerful and unique. And they said, well, I spend a lot of time because there's a lot of stuff out there on the web. And I said, well, have you heard about the virtual public library? And he had not. And so I have lots of those kind of conversations where people are, in fact, trying to, teachers in particular, trying to get resources for their teaching, and they are bombarded by lots of stuff on the web, good and bad. And we we have come to really value the virtual public library as a place for quality material and quality information. So I have lots of those kind of informal conversations. One of the wonderful features about it is that it's cataloged and it's annotated and selected just for teachers and much, much a big improvement over something like Google, which is just too much. It doesn't, uh, doesn't collect all the things that you need. Yeah, you know, I, th I think what Bonnie has given to us is a real, ju real jewel. I would absolutely recommend the site. I would recommend the site to teachers and leaders of schools, not just to classroom teachers, and to parents, because I think that the site does have a lot of really good information that will help parents be more knowledgeable about education and therefore be a better advocate for their child. For me, as a curriculum librarian, I'm committed to this idea of powerful instruction, and I think that the Instructional Media Center does a wonderful job of moving us in that direction.